I just got back from work and honestly I am so tired but you know what it's okay it's okay because today we are doing my favorite 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 soloist right now so I'm okay I'm okay this song's called antidote and this is what I need this is what I need all right what is up everyone my name is andrew welcome back to my channel if you are new hi hello welcome to my channel today we are here to react to kang daniel's antidote and i gotta say if you haven't known me if you are new again welcome kang daniel is one of my favorite top favorite solo 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 artists right now i can't talk solo solo solo, solo artist right now and i love kang daniel with all my heart I love them since the Produce series. I love them since 101. I love his solo career. His albums are so good. I, I've bought every single one of his albums so far. And you know what? I don't regret it. I don't. All right, so I think last month he came back with Paranoia. That's like a pre-single, a pre-comeback. If you haven't seen my reaction to that, go check it out. But Paranoia had more of a darker, more... I want to say sinister, but it talked more about his mental health in that song, which is obviously a great, um, a great demonstration, a great way example of how people feel sometimes. And you know, paranoia is one of those songs that, even though I don't listen to it regularly as much as like "To You" or "Colors" or all that, it's such a good song, and it just it ha I have to be in a specific mood to listen to it. So. Now he's finally back with Antidote with his mini album. I think this is called Yellow. Is this called Yellow? Why is it repeating after me? Why are you doing that? I think his next album with this one's called Yellow and I'm excited. I haven't seen any teasers or music teasers about this. So I don't know how it's going to sound like. I'm really going into this blind and yeah, we're going to start. Make sure to hit that like subscribe. Before I start, make sure to hit that subscribe button because one, it's free, and two, you can always unsubscribe if you don't like me. And let's start. Play my intro. Girl, you thought I fold up like a book, but I'm a Kindle. Ha ha. How come all this conversation me, 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 me? How come all your ladies they want me, 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 me? One, two, the three, three, seven. I'm a lead, 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 lead. Bouncing both ways back to the bed. That's greed, 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 greed. I'm so nervous. Let's start. Three, two. Three, two, one. Oh. First of all, love the yellow and black. He is so handsome for what? Ooh, vocals. Oh, that sounds nice. His voice is so raspy. Oh, I got a chill. I got a chill. Oh, a chill went down my spine. Symbolism right there. Ooh, that was nice. Vocals. Oh, wow. She went high. His vocals in this song. I love the casual outfits. He looks so good in such a white t-shirt. This is my favorite part. Okay. 
You better run. Oh. He's so handsome. I love the colors. This is beautiful, this video. Oh, that's a nice shot. Oh. This scene is pretty. Oh, this guitar right here. Okay, right off the bat, this and Paranoia, I love how this is more than just your simple K-pop love song. Like, this demonstrates more of, like, the artistry, the artist performance side of K-pop, I guess, or, like, K-music in general. Um, the symbolism in here, it definitely had something to do with more of being a spotlight, being in everyone's eyes all the time being in media because with that one scene with the cameras and he's dancing in the center it definitely has more of a performance more of a storyline more of a artist performance again which again like if you ever go into that kind of route that kind of direction you can never go wrong with it because it always speaks on something that should always be spoken on and that's what makes me really love this already like Kang Jan Yeol has become the artist that like he really he can make love songs, yes, but he can go beyond that and prove more skills than what he can do himself. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm like blurting words out there, but I really do like that. In this one, he showcased more of his vocals in this song. I'm going to react to it one more time, but from very first initial and reaction, reaction, vocals in here. Definitely a lot more train, a lot more focus on vocals than in... There are his other songs like if you compare it to like his first mini album like colors horizon what are you doing or like to you and movie his vocals are more soft you know they're not too hard they're nice to listen to like it's like a smooth clean vocals but in here he definitely had more like focus on like high notes and law and louder notes and like longer notes does that make sense that i really love that i love how he focused more on his vocals in here in a way that like it's more than what he usually does. All right, but we're gonna watch this one more time because we always do things twice here and I love Kang Daniel, so we're gonna do it. Three, two, three, two, one. I love this set. Like here, it sounds like his normal to you, colors, touch in voice. But then, here, I never heard him sing like this before. You know, this sounds like it would be like a Western song, an American music song, but I like it. I feel like I would hear this on the radio here. That that part is nice. Those vocals there are nice. That is nice. Ooh, 
I just his vocals in this song, man. So good. You can really hear his emotions and feel his emotions. And this outfit, I love this outfit. It's so simple. Simple blue jeans, white shirt. I wish the 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 stage was yellow though instead of blue. Ah, just these vocals right here. This this part of the song right here. And then we got rapper Kang in this part. Always good. Rapper, Kang Yanyo, always good. I love this scene right here. He's so beautiful for what? I love that scene. I love that right there. I like this electric guitar at the end, right now. He's so... oh my god, I love him. Antidote. Also, another random thing is that I love that his albums are named after colors. Like, there's magenta, there's cyan, there's now yellow. It's like, you know... We love, we love consistency. We love it to keep it consistent. And if your name after colors, next one, I better get lavender. I love that word. Or lilac, whatever. Give me purple. Give me purple Kang Daniel. Like, I want that so bad. Alright, but watching that a second time, Antidote, again, it, it fits this weather. Does that make sense? It fits this season right now because it's spring. It has the, maybe it's also the video. It has like the, the sunny day, but not too cold, not too hot feeling. It's a type of song that I would listen to if I really, really need to escape um, to somewhere. If I had to go to a park, I had to go to a field, if I had to just go somewhere in a cafe or whatever. It makes me feel like this song would be able to make me relax and able to understand who I am. I'm kidding. No. Ew. No, but on serious, I do like this song. I do like how calming it is. And it really seems like, again, Kong Daniel's just evolving more into an artist rather than just an idol like there's a difference between that and he's really becoming the artist that he's meant to be he's he's so successful he's so talented he's so charismatic i love him but yeah there's a reaction to kang daniel's antidote if there's a if there's an album if there's an album but i will listen to the mini album coming soon if i have the time for it but it'll be here it'll be here we'll do it um thank you for watching with me make sure to like comment subscribe follow me instagram and twitter and tiktok and i will see you in the next video bye